It's the first day of school, and it can be totally frightening. But the key to surviving it is whether you're ready or not. Many of us grew up watching Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide on Nickelodeon, but whatever happened to our favorite child stars? For some of them, Ned's Declassified was just the beginning. And it shall, and I definitely want to be here for that. While for others, it was the last time they were in the spotlight. Christian Serratos is a well-known actress now, but her career almost took a totally different path before she started portraying Susie Crabgrass on Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. When she was just three years old, she was already trained to be a competitive figure skater. And to think many kids that age are just trying to master toilet training. Her coaches thought she had what it takes to go the distance and wanted to get her in shape to compete in the Olympics someday. That's a lot of pressure for a little kid, and Christian soon realized a life on the ice wasn't for her. While she still loves skating, it's more of a hobby than anything else. It's acting that she's passionate about, and her career has been super successful so far. It ended up being kind of therapeutic for me, and I, I realized that that's where my where where my heart lied. She started out modeling at the age of seven and appeared on popular kids' shows like Zoe 101, Seventh Heaven, and Hannah Montana. Ned's Declassified was her first major role, but it's far from her only one. We probably don't have to tell you that she played the role of Angela in the Twilight Saga since everyone under the sun, whether they sparkle or not, has seen those movies. The role won her the Young Supporting Actress Award in the Best Performance in a Feature Film category at the 30th Young Artist Awards. She even appeared in the music video for the Black Keys song, Howlin' For You. Not only was Christian a part of a huge movie franchise, but she's also part of the cast of The Walking Dead. She plays the role of Rosita Espinoza, and when she's not pretending to take out walkers, she's dedicating her time to protecting actual creatures. She's a passionate animal rights advocate who has posed for PETA in the past, and when she's not working, she enjoys spending time with her family. She's in a relationship with new politics singer David Boyd, and the two of them have a beautiful daughter together. And if you can't get enough of Christian, you're in luck. She's going to be playing the role of legendary singer Selena Quintanilla on Netflix's upcoming Selena series. And you can also look forward to seeing more of her Ned's Declassified co-star, Lindsay Shaw, who played Jennifer Ann Mose Mosley. She was born in Lincoln, Nebraska before moving to Los Angeles to further her acting career. At first, she and her mom traveled back and forth so Lindsay could take part in commercials and print ads, but that got really old really fast. When Ned's Classified wrapped up, she got a role as Claire Tolchuk on Aliens in America and played the lead in the show 10 Things I Hate About You. Yes, there was a show based off the classic 1990s rom-com starring Heath Ledger and Julia Stiles. Lindsay has been working hard, taking smaller roles, and landing big ones with an impressive regularity. She's been on shows like Suppurgatory, Faking It, and Hers in History. But perhaps her best known role was Paige McCullers on Pretty Little Liars. Surviving school on that show was even harder than surviving on Ned's Declassified. She's also going to be in Reboot Camp when it comes out in 2020. But if you just can't wait until then to see more Lindsay, you're in luck. You can actually buy a chunk of her time on the website cameo.com. She's also active on Instagram and has over 305,000 followers. And of course, we definitely can't talk about the cast of Ned's Declassified without talking about Ned himself, or at least the actor who played him. Oh man, show me more. This is fun. Devin Werkheiser grew up in Georgia, and his parents enrolled him in acting classes when he was growing up. Ned's Declassified may have been his big break, but landing a part on the movie We Were Soldiers was enough to convince his family to pack up and move to LA. His parents really wanted to get the most out of those acting classes. Not only was he the star of a show, but people all over the world knew him as Ned Bigby. He even traveled to Germany to accept the Kids' Choice Award for the show and won an Italian Kids' Choice Award for Favorite Male Star. Since then, he's had minor roles on shows like American Dad, Criminal Minds, and Two Broke Girls. He's also been in movies like Santa Girl and Crown Vic. Devin is still a working actor, and he's making music as well. He's released songs like If Eyes Could Speak and Sparks Will Fly, and says he has tons more songs just waiting to get refined and released. But if you really want more school survival tips, don't worry, Devin might still be able to help. He also has his own YouTube channel, and while he posts plenty of his music, there are some informational videos as well. 
He hosts a series called Devin's Life Survival Guide filled with tips on how to improve your life. Devin said people have always told him that Ned's Declassified actually helped them navigate the sometimes tricky world of school. Now, if you need a little help adulting, Devin can still help. It's been quite some time since Ned's Declassified was on TV, but we definitely remember Claire Sawyer mentioning something about wanting to be a lawyer. She might have been young, but Claire was quite insistent about what she wanted out of life. But what about the actress who played her? Ned's Declassified wasn't Brooke M. Bridges' first TV gig. She also had a recurring role as Lily Winters on the soap opera The Young and the Restless. Brooke also made brief appearances on shows like Mad About You and Touched by an Angel before getting this gig with Nickelodeon. But of course, what we all want to know is, did she get a law degree? After all, she's only made a few minor television appearances since, once on an episode of 90210 and once on Switched at Birth. Well, we hate to disappoint you, but Brooke is not a lawyer. Hey, that was Claire's dream, not hers. And for what it's worth, Brooke claims she's confident Claire would have achieved her goal someday. However, the part did inspire Brooke to take some law classes in college, and they actually paid off for her in a real way. She had to go up against a former employee in court when they tried to get out of paying her overtime. Thanks to her law classes and to Claire Sawyer, Brooke ended up winning her case and getting the money she deserved. As for what she's up to now, Brooke says she's still acting but is doing more commercial work. She's also interested in photography and blogging about food. According to her, good food and taking quality photos are her true passions. Case closed. Carly Casey is another Ned's Declassified star who hasn't spent much time in front of the camera since, but that doesn't mean she isn't still involved in the entertainment industry. On Ned's Declassified, she was known as Miss Meanie, but she's had many smaller parts since the show ended. These include Hawaii Five-O and New Girl. She also appeared as Margot in the show Are You There God? It's Me Margot. Not only was Carly in a major role, but she also helped write, direct, and produce it. Although she has a lot going on behind the scenes, fans can look forward to seeing her in the movie Young Lion of the West, where she plays the role of Tara Golden. According to Ned's Declassified executive producer Scott Fellows, the first time he met Teo Olivares in person, he just knew he was perfect for the part of crony. He was exactly what he had in mind to portray a bully's sidekick who was a really nice kid deep down. Teo's been acting since he took part in local theater at seven years old, and he's been working steadily since Ned Declassified ended. He's been on NCIS, CSI New York, Santa Clarita Diet, and Criminal Minds, just to name a few. But not only is Teo passionate about acting, but he loves creating music. He's studied guitar and piano and considers himself a solo artist. If you miss hearing from Teo, you can actually check out his stuff right on Spotify. Another musical member of the Ned's Declassified cast is Rob Pinkston, who you might know better as Coconut Head. Although he worked on things like Ben 10 and Short Circuits before, Ned's Declassified was definitely his big break. Since then, he's been in various shorts in the TV series This Just In. He's also making music and you can check him out on SoundCloud. Daniel Curtis Lee has definitely been busy since the show ended, both in front of and behind the camera. On Ned's Declassified, he was Simon Cookie Nelson Cook, and he also appeared on Good Luck Charlie, Zeke and Luther, and Glee. He's also written quite a few short videos, directed and produced a handful of shorts, and even played on the celebrity basketball team The Hollywood Knights. This talented guy graduated California State University Long Beach with a degree in linguistics, and he speaks multiple languages. Linguistics. But he's not the only Ned's Declassified star who has gone on to graduate college. Kyle Swan earned himself a Bachelor of Science in Marine Biology, and it seems like his acting days are well behind him. He was Billy Bully Loomer on Ned's Declassified, but pretty much stepped out of the spotlight entirely afterwards. Come back, Kyle, we miss you. But living a normal life isn't so bad, and it's something a lot of former cast members have done. Just ask Rachel Sibner, who played the part of Lisa Zemo. When the show wrapped, so did her acting career. Career. But she did lend her famous name to the Starlight Children's Foundation when she served as a star power ambassador. Tyler Chase is another Ned's Declassified star who totally fell off the map when he stopped working on the show. He voiced Hank Newburn in the video game L.A. Noir back in 2011, and he hasn't even updated his Twitter account in years. Maybe we should send a search party. Darren Norris may be older than a lot of the other stars of Ned's Declassified, but he's been an active actor since 1988, even though you might not 
recognize him. He was Gordy on Ned's Declassified, but a lot of his other popular roles were in animated shows. He plays Cosmo and Timmy's dad on The Fairly Odd Parents, Spartak and Max on Samurai Jack, and Jack Smith on American Dad. Darren also plays Johnny Frost on the show I Zombie and Cliff McCormick on Veronica Mars. Not only is his resume a mile long, but he was also falsely credited under the pseudonym Jack Hammer for many years. Well, at least his mistaken identity has a cool name. Jim J. Bullock was on Ned's Declassified as Mr. Monroe, and he also has a substantial past as both a voice actor and a traditional actor. He was big in the 1980s on the sitcom Too Close for Comfort and regularly appeared on Hollywood Squares. Jim was already a big name before he was on Ned's Declassified, and since he's now in his 60s, it seems like he's enjoying a well-deserved retirement. What do you think about how things ended up for the stars of Ned's Declassified? Are there any you wish were still performing? Let us know what you think in the comment section below, and don't forget to click subscribe for more videos from the Taco. See you next time!